So hello everyone, in this video today we pick up basically where I left off from yesterday which is finishing off with the bumper which is going to be getting the fog lights and everything like that changed over to the new ones and then basically moving the bumper out of the way and carrying on with doing the engine oil change with the car and a couple of other little bits and pieces with the interior. So let's jump into the video. So as many of you should already know, I've got these new fog lights looking to be going on into where these ones which look really tired and beaten up now so that's to be changed over and i'm going to also look at doing the headlight restoration like i have done with the other cars so these these headlights aren't too bad but i think it's just going to come out much cleaner much nicer much more refreshed once it's done because you do get a lot of pitting and stuff like that with um Headlights just, just due to age, you know, getting loads of stone chips and everything like that. So I'm going to look into getting that done as well. And also, I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to try and give as much of this space as I can. A good little clean up because I think that will just it'll feel nice since I got the access to everything. Like inside here, there's loads of like old leaves and everything. So weight reduction, yo. Hey everyone, um, time to have a quick look at the old and new lights basically. So that's the old, which like look at the bottom of that, it's all like crystallized and stuff. I don't know what's going on there, but that's not worth saving or anything really. Here are the new units, very, very nice and clean as you can see. Um, everything looks the same, you've got the same little um, I think these are for alignment or something like that um, But I'm gonna have to give that all a good check over um, just to make sure it's all sit in the right way And then I think all you have to do really is disconnect the light Dang, So much dirt coming out of this And then pop the new one I think there we go Maybe? I'm, I'm hoping I'm getting this in the right way. Come on. Come on. Come on, do it. Give me a second. Enough. <laughs> right, I'm gonna carry on playing around with this and we'll catch up in a second. Quick little update with this. So what I ended up having to do, because both of these are really, really hard to get in. Um, Along the sides here, I had to trim away a little bit of what I think was excess paint and things like that that was blocking it. And I've also trimmed a little bit, so I've tapered the three little tabs on the light to get them in. Bit annoying, um, I think if you're the general person or something like that, that would have been a lot harder to deal with. I had the Dremel, which was a bit easier to deal with, with it with. Um, but yeah, so that's the fog lights ready to be put back on. Up next, I'm actually going to be looking at removing the damaged um, parking sensor from over there and look at getting this one prepped to put on. I'm going to need to paint this though because it's currently in black so I don't have the paint at the moment so I'm going to need to buy that tomorrow. <sighs> Whoa, that was interesting. So basically this was stuck in the actual bumper. You couldn't grab it anywhere from the inside. So what I did was I smacked it from the outside, just brought it out, but that's the color that it needs to be. If only I could have, you know, reused this bit, blah, 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 but you can't. So good thing I've got that. I'm going to take that out with me and find the right paint code and everything and be able to spray this one up, something similar to that. And then, yeah, I'm going to fit this one on. But just to double check, I need to check the connector, which looks right. Yep, that's right, and yep, it's gonna fit in perfect. Definitely not gonna keep it on there for now. That's basically the front bumper done. So I'm gonna move the front bumper out of the way in a second um, so we can carry on working with the rest of the car, which will be the interior and the engine oil and everything else. So when it comes to the front bumper now, um, I guess apart from doing the front um, sensor, the bumper is basically going to be put to the side now. I'm going to give it a proper 
last minute refresh clean right when I'm about to finish basically and put it back on. So you can see the grill. Oh my god, I can't wait to see how that's gonna look on the car. You can see just how much more aggressive that is. Cool little thing that I have found out about this car right now though. It's just over here, you have these um, like slits in the plastic, which isn't on this side, that basically goes through there, all the way up there into the air intake. Now, I wonder if there's a scoop that you could make or something like that that will just come across, um, or if there is one already for sale. So I'm going to be looking into that before I put the bumper on. Um, again, it might not be something crazy, but it'll be something different, and something nice to do for the car to get it a little bit more power. But right now, I'm going to look at doing the headlights again. You can see they're not exactly that bad, but when you do get a bit closer up, you can see some of the damages to it. So it'll be nice to get them cleaned up. So yeah, let's, let's go about getting that done now. That's the headlights basically done. Um, to be honest, not much of it really came out. I think the polishing did the best part of the actual job. So, but it does look a lot cleaner, does look a lot shinier, which is basically the end result that I was looking for. So now that I'm done with the headlights, it's time to move on to the interior. So I'm going to finish up with the lights in store, going to basically be doing the dash part of it again. Um, I've got the right glue for that now, I think. And I've got some for the rears as well, which will be going in. So let's basically get started with that. Um, the first part is going to be just about removing all the old um, plastic and everything like that. I'm also gonna shorten this down because it got so long that it's just wrapped around inside underneath and everything. I don't think there's much of a space that I'm gonna be using that for. Right now, what I'm actually looking at doing, in fact, let me get some better lighting going on here. Nah, that's not good enough. That's a little bit better. Got the light coming through there, over here. So I'm gonna, I've taken off the gear stick again, which is somewhere on the side over there. Um, gonna be looking at taking this one off. Let me open this plate back up again. Oh, this is so complicated for no reason. Right, so uh, I'm gonna see if I can move this to the side as much as I can. Hold up, I need two hands. So this has now been taken off, all the bits have been disconnected, and I'm just gonna move the cables inside a little bit and test fit this one and it doesn't fit fully oh no right let's try something um uh. so not as easy as i thought it might have been um where is my keys kind of put this in place for the time being obviously nothing's connected I'm just testing oh, okay it's gonna need a little bit of trimming going on at the top part of it but other than that i think it basically oh damn it other than that it actually does fit it's just gonna need a little bit of trimming just over here that's actually really i'm, I'm happy with that i'm happy with that kind of fitment Gonna be working on what these lights and buttons end up doing. Um, looking at this right now, it's actually come out kind of good. Um, it fits obviously as it would in an M6. It's not gonna stay this color at all. Um, but as I'm basically pushing this in, um, it's when I'm hitting it in park. It's hitting at the top area. So I'm gonna need to obviously trim a little bit away there. But the rest of the time. So it works fine there, um, that's going to be a bit of an issue, going into manual mode. I think if I try and push this in fully, so manual it goes into the side right, that bit's fine. Going down a gear doesn't, well up a gear sorry, doesn't really work so some form of trimming would need to happen there as well. Not sure how much, but let's figure it out. 
this is going to be very interesting to see how I actually get this across. I've actually just had a change of mind. I thought this would be quite good to have for the exhaust sounds. Um, that would be good for the sport button. That I'm not sure of just yet. And that I might use that as the LPG one and this one as um, the lights for the ambient lights. Because, um, yeah, I think that would be quite good to have it as the on off switch for that. So come over here, picking up some paint. A load of stuff going on. But yeah, picking up some paint for the sensor. So, and yes, that's how much paint and the lacquer is costing me, but it should be a perfect match to the OEM one. All right, got my cans, let's jump in. And get back. So up next, basically, I'm gonna look at painting these with the extra paints that I've got now. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I don't know which one I should do now. Basically, I've got to also repaint this area now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a small little area where I think the previous owner has tried respraying this one, and they've resprayed a couple of the, well, a few inches on each side um, around this part, but it's not been done nicely. It's actually a different color. You can kind of see it. It's very dull compared to the rest. Um, so I'm going to look at respraying that area. So actually, I think I'm going to do the sensor now and then just deal with this at a later point because I'm also gonna try and deal with this damage part as well, which will be eventful. Another little purchase that I've gone ahead and done for the six series is, I'm opening it up right now. Make sure it's all good. There's an expansion tank. Um, basically my current one, the little, dipping part on it has decided to break all the way inside. I'm hoping it's not gone anywhere, so I'm gonna basically have to take out the old one, check everything, um, blah, blah, blah. So, just gonna pull this up next to this one. Yeah, looks about right, that's perfect. I'm gonna put that back in there. That's another job that needs to get done to the six series. And I also need to see where the coolant leak is, as well as any engine oil leaks. So there's a lot to get done to this car while it's in the garage. And I need to get it done ASAP because this car is stopping me from doing my E30 and a couple of the other cars. So let's get to it. Got to respray those. Well, respray the sensor. Then up next, I'm going to be taking out the center console, which literally involves taking out everything here because I really want to redo the wiring. I might also redo the wiring for the center console um, cigarette lighter. I'm going to look into that. Just need to make sure everything is as good and perfect as I wanted it all to be. You know, a quick little reminder for everyone is it's all about building a dream. And I have a vision right now. And that's what I'm working towards. So, let's carry on. Haven't tried this before, let's try it out. Wow. Yo, that's delicious actually. Coconut and berry flavor, yo, that's nice. I'd actually have that over the normal one. It's got a nice, nice little sweetness to it, even though it's sugar-free. Perfect for what you need when you need wings to work on a BMW 6 Series. That was a really bad commercial and I don't get sponsored by Red Bull, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But Red Bull, if you want to sponsor me, let me know. Really big moment for me right now. I'm actually going to look at removing the center console, which for this car is actually a massive thing. It involves removing so much. All of that, everything here, everything here, all this to the back here. So this is going to be quite interesting to remove and take out, but yeah, it's got to be done. So quick little update. Not taking out the center console. I don't know why there's a couple of bits, connectors in this part. It's really hard to take off, so I'm just leaving that in there because I just really needed access to the bottom of it. I did find 20p in there, so I'm making money still. 
Um, got the cans on heat at the moment, so I've got my plastic primer, which will be the first one to be used. Um, and then I've got the paints and everything else, which are actually quite warm now, so I can probably turn that off for the time being. And I'm going to look at using them in a second to paint wherever it is. There it is. The um, parking sensor. So let's prep this up, basically. Being able to just jack it up bit by bit. So right now I'm actually prepping the brake calipers to be painted so you can kind of see I've started to do some of the um, well, I'm using a wire brush at the moment getting rid of majority of the dirt and then from there I'm going to look at prepping it for paint so it's going to be quite a long process I think I'm going to order some brake discs and pads as well because these are really bad so yeah I'm just going to like you can kind of see where it's got like a mark left from where the brake pad must have been for it being parked up for a long time um, there's quite a fair amount of rust there's quite about two inch lip um, but just looking at the condition of the brake disc I, I i'd be much happier if i just got the whole thing changed it does have a little bit of a wobble as well so it'd be a good time to just change everything over and have a fresh start i can see why this exhaust bypass valve stopped working because there's no cable running to it anymore which must have come off somehow it's kind of annoying let's see oh dang gotta do it that's awesome so i gotta do something about this now started to undo everything to get access to the wiring for it so yeah a lot more fun left to do today because of that i'm basically gonna also take off the other side double check everything there because I really don't want to be faffing around with this all the time so I'm going to double check solders and everything like that strengthen up everything as much as I can and then put it all up back on and call it a day with the exhaust hopefully i um, also got to join the two connectors so that it goes into just one controller and then from the controller I'm going to be looking at setting everything up over or underneath the center console so yeah let's roll so what's really annoying about this is, is this was actually sellotaped together with the other part, like that one should look basically. So that part was plugged in and it was sellotaped together and everything like that. So that should have kept it on. Don't know what's happened to it, but it is just two connection ports that need to be connected. I've taken the other one off to double check it. So right now what I'm going to do is actually just solder on a new set of um, wiring and everything like that onto this piece. And then we can actually carry on with reinstalling this back on. I'm going to double check everything as well um, to make sure it's actually perfectly sealing. Because I think it does have a little bit of a leak sometimes. So just need to see if there's any way of avoiding that. Um, and then yeah, it that should be all good in the hood.